Next question. Jocko, how do you learn slash practice detachment in real time? Detachment. So I, this is something that I have talked about a lot and it is definitely a very important part of leadership and it's a very important part of of finding your way successfully through life. It's an important part of navigation of, mm. of the world. So, and if, if you haven't heard me talk about this, this is the idea that you are not caught up in the emotions and the chaos and the, and the tactical firefight that's happening. You detach so you can make good judgments about things. So how do you do it? How do you learn it and how do you practice it? Step number one is awareness. Awareness of yourself. So you start asking yourself, wait, how am I being perceived right now? Mm -hmm. If you can just occasionally start asking yourself, how am I being perceived right now? How is echo seeing me right now. So all of a sudden you've, you're starting to take other people's perspective, mm -hmm. which is, it's a good start because it's not your own. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to, is to get outside of your own perspective and see yourself from some kind of a distance. So you start asking yourself, how am I being perceived? And then start trying to watch yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, what do I look like right now? Mm -hmm. Am I caught inside that madness. And once you start to do that, that's going to be like your, that's going to be your little tool that you're going to use is getting outside and just watching yourself and saying, okay, I am aware of what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. I am aware of what I am doing right now. And then what you want to do is you want to set some kind of alerts because you don't walk around, I don't walk around detached from myself all the time. I'm not, I mean, otherwise you would have no joy and you would have no, you would have no pain. You'd have no emotions because you'd be detached from it. So you don't walk, I don't walk around just detached all the time, but I do have some alerts, some little red flags some little triggers that happened in my mind mm -hmm. that when I feel them, I know, okay, you're starting to go too far and you're losing the perception of yourself. Mm -hmm. What's your, your trigger there? A couple of them. Number one is like some strong emotion. Yeah, yeah. Like anger. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. anger. You start, you start, if you start clenching your fist or you start raising your voice, that should mm -hmm. be a warning. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are not thinking clearly right now. Detach from this. Get away from these emotions. Um, some kind of chaos like chaos happening and you're in it, mm. whether it's in a supermarket, whether it's, you know, something bad, something violent, something mob. If you're getting in that situation, you start feeling that detach yourself from it. Cause you can get caught up in it. So any overwhelming excitement will be it. Now here's a good red flag. Here's a good red flag. Good alert is the 27th time you bang your head against the wall attacking a problem, whatever that problem is, yeah. you know? And I, I actually made this joke the other day at jujitsu because we're talking about passing someone's guard mm. and people will try and try and try one way, one way, one way, one way, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm like, listen, after your 27th attempt to pass someone's guard the same way, go ahead and try another way. So this happens a lot where if you find yourself beating your head against the wall after the 27th time, mm -hmm. go ahead and let that be a little alert that you need to detach. You need to get, cause there's some reason that you're doing this. Yeah. Maybe it's an emotional reason. Maybe it's just, you're too close to the problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's that the problem has a hold of you and you don't recognize it, but mm -hmm. let that be an alert a trigger that tells you, hey, buddy, detach. Take a look around and see if there's another way. Mm -hmm. Now, another huge thing that requires detachment is your ego. Your big, nasty, 
powerful ego. It's one of the biggest things that you have to utilize detachment to overcome. And let me tell you some of the things that will warn you that your ego is now in the game. <laughs> and when your ego's in the game, when your ego's in the game, it, it will very easily win. It yeah. will beat you. So when you're feeling jealousy, likely that's gonna be your ego. And I actually heard somebody on, somebody on Twitter hit me with this the other day and it was something along the lines of uh, if you're feeling jealous, instead of saying, I'm jealous of this person, say, what can I learn from this person? Wow. <laughs> Great statement, right? Yeah. Because that's when you set your ego, that's when you detach from your ego and you say, okay, I'm not going to be jealous of this person. They can teach me something. Uh, when you start feeling frustrated, when you far, start feeling disgust or anger, where is that emotion coming from? Very high likelihood it's coming from your ego. Yeah. So you need to put that ego into check. Do you it, think that's the hardest one? Do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but although... Yeah, you, yeah, they can all be pretty hard. I mean, because, you know, when you get emotional about a relationship, yeah, I mean, that's not always your ego. That can be your ego, mm. especially if there's another person involved, yeah, right? Really. But a lot of times that's not your ego. That's that's your emotion that's hurting and causing problems. Um, but yeah, the ego, I, I actually find the ego, because it's so clear, mm. it's so clear that you're just being an idiot with your mm. ego i always go god i'm stupid why am i doing this yeah uh and i think it is usually pretty i think the ones that are harder are a little bit a little bit more subtle right. you know yeah um yeah and that's kind of what i mean because the ego is like that's how powerful it is because it, any extreme situation or, or extreme example of any one of these like if you get really angry it's easy to see I lost my temper right there. I mm -hmm. shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have yelled at, you know, whatever. Or if your ego's prevalent in this really, um, just in a real strong way, it's obvious. And of course, it's not. But the ego, I feel like it's like that subtlety of it makes it hard. Yeah. Because, you know, that last part of the, it's like if you want to remove your ego, it's, it's almost like a bucket of sand where you got to get the last corner of your ego out for it to work. Otherwise, your ego's still in the game. No, you your know? ego's always in the game. Yeah, and, yeah. and I don't encourage people to, I'm not like the Buddha that says completely eliminate your ego because your ego is what's driving you in many cases to perform well, to win. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? And if you... Uh, but the part of the Ayn ego Rand that, in the end of what's that book? Anyways, she's like, ego is this. God bless the ego, you know this, yeah. uh, and it's pretty powerful because that's what drives you. That's the yeah. individual effort. Yeah. The problem is there's a dichotomy of everything, yeah. and sometimes your ego will get the best of you, and that's what you need to watch out for, and that's when you got to learn to detach from it. Yeah, so it's like each situation you have a certain sized cup that can only hold so much ego to get it done. And then any, even one drop, it's going to jam you up. Yeah. If, it's, if you're one drop overflowing, you know? And you could make bad decisions with your ego yeah. if you let it get in the way. Yeah, man, and that's the hard thing because, and I think that's probably the reason because you need your ego to, to kind of function and yeah. get tasks done and, and excel and all this stuff. So you have to basically find that fine line that you have to, get rid of you know the, the at that what point do you get rid of um enough ego to still have enough ego to get the task done you know so it's the dichotomy yeah sometimes it's you don't even realize it yeah um not that i ever have that problem nothing like that i'm just saying it, it, it seems like it we could all be hard. have that problem unfortunately 